Oh, his exhaust came off. His exhaust came off, yeah. There's multiple Supers out here. Let's My go. Supra is out here. We just made it, made the drive from Colorado. Uh, it was about 12 hours. Everything went pretty smooth. It got a little hairy there for a little bit though. We are pretty much driving in like white out blizzard conditions for like an hour and a half on the top of I-70 going up and down and up and down. It's a little bit sketchy, but we're here. We made it and uh, we just did our little meeting and everything in the morning. We signed up, signed our lives away to the production of Banging Gear. So we're gonna go ahead, unload my Supra, get the front bumper on it, maybe test it out. Today's kind of like a chill day and uh, I don't know how much stuff we're gonna be able to like film and post about the actual show because we can't really get close to where they're actually filming or at least Charles can't get close to where they're filming. So I'm probably just gonna do like an iPhone vlog of the process. Uh, but even then, I don't know when we'll be able to post that stuff. But as of right now, we're here getting ready to start filming tomorrow. Uh, but as of right now, we're uh, we gonna get the car unloaded. <laughs> Front bumper is on this thing. I got the interior cleaned out. I don't know how we're gonna wash it. It's like really dusty. From it's the, really dusty. And like, like the paint is soft. I don't know if there's like a hose here or something, but I wish I had like a detail bay or something. But I'm kind of scared to leave the property because there was literally a guy that just left in his uh, and got rear-ended in it. So like, I don't know, the driver. Wait, so he left the track? He left the track in his car that he's competing with and got rear-ended in it. And then now is like, so I like, I'm kind of scared, like I want to do. Obviously, we're gonna go cruise this thing around, make sure air fuels and everything are looking good. Just gonna make sure it's a good super still. Hey, nice air freshener there, pal. Nice, isn't it? Nice air freshener. Where can I get one of those? TruckTV.com, get some entries to win the Civic. Prep surface, it, you, it bogged and then gripped, but. All right, so launch control on. Okay, okay. Just doesn't want to hook. Yeah. 
off if that's like it doesn't really sound like it doesn't sound it, like rod knob. If it was engine, I feel like it would be more consistent. It'd be way more consistent if it was engine problem. So just got off the phone with Steve. Uh, the boost was kind of tamed down. It was only making like 20 some pounds, not the full 30. But what we realized I wasn't going fast enough. Oh. We had full boost coming in at like 100. Oh. I turned it down so it hits 100% deuce, boost duty cycle on the, on the blend table sooner. Okay. Well, essentially hit 30 pounds at 60 miles an hour instead of 100 miles an hour. Okay. So it is uh, day two here and uh, we're not really doing much today. Yesterday was a really packed day for a lot of people. They were basically jamming like three episodes into one day. Today I think that's kind of like an in between and tomorrow I think they're going to jam three episodes into one day which is mostly going to be us. Today I think the only thing we're really doing is going to shoot some rollers like some beauty shots of the car. Other than that that's really it and then tomorrow we have road course uh, drag racing interview stuff because i'm not even doing any interview stuff so dustin williams is out here today he's doing all of that today and then he's going to do drag racing stuff tomorrow so no drag racing tonight pretty busy though i guess not busy today tomorrow's going to be really busy so we're going to figure it gonna out be crazy. it's going to be wild also my truck is really really dirty look at that is that salt oh yeah that's, that's, that's salt that's a gift ah, from colorado right here. i don't like salt that 720S was potentially gonna be the 720S that I was gonna write race. But then I told him, I said, a tuned 720S versus Trevi might not work. So I think we're racing a Ferrari, but honestly, I have no clue. All right, so on the way over to the Supra, finally get to see Adam. What do you think? I just hit my shin really hard on my pedal. I guess you'll get that with the bikes, but uh, this is pretty uh, interesting. Is it different than when I last drove it, or is it the same? What? The Supra. It's completely different. Oh, is it? So it just made, when you drove it, it was probably maybe 650. Now it's 796. Same trans? Yep, same tranny. A different adapter plate, a different throttle body. We tried to hook up traction control, that didn't work. Mostly it cams. Has the GSC S1s in it. Sick. And then more boost. So, looking good. It rips. Let's so, get on track. And uh, you got some things over here. I remember old girl? I remember the old blue car. So this thing is completely changed now. This thing was a mess when it like came to me and then like we did a couple things to it. What are you doing with this thing over here? I don't know. Hopefully fun. I don't know how to describe you. You're like a kid, but like, you know, kids, they just can't sit still. Mm -hmm. That's you. Yeah. So he's been like yesterday, he was over here and he was like, you couldn't even see him because he was doing like an alignment and trying to tow plate a car. Oh, and it was miserable. Which, technically, like there's even, there's no purpose for the car to be here, but it's just like Adam just has to, he has to do something. Like it's- well, I drove it and it was driving crooked and it was driving me nuts, but it was just, uh, it was low on tire pressure in one tire. Oh. But I still aligned it. But the tow arms were so bent and then the eccentrics were stripped out. So I had to keep pulling the tow arm off the shock and turning that. So, process. Well, I think it's time for me to go do some rollers. We got another uh, Super here. This thing's pretty sick, so I'm gonna get my car pulled out. Go do something. All right, so it's my time. Well, actually, it's the Supra's time to shine. So I'm gonna go out and do some rollers on uh, the road with this unit right here. So this thing is a super sick setup. So E90 M3. It's got the rig on the top. Really expensive. It's got this thing hanging off the back. I'm gonna try not to run into it. And uh, yeah, we got the banging gears banner on this thing. And uh, our first time we've done anything 
for the show where it feels like we're filming something for show uh, soon. We just got back from uh, the Fremont Street experience. Look at this Huracan right here. I know, so like we're out here for banging gears, obviously. The point is like JDM cars versus supercars. My stance is I love them both. I, I, I'm not gonna sit here and say, you know, I, I like uh, screw Huracans or anything. If I was gonna own a Huracan, it would be this one. Like if I had the choice, it'd be the green with the hard top. I mean, just the green with the hard top and then I'd put like a Travis Custom Spec twin turbo kit on it. This is what it could potentially look like if I sold 20 of my cars, condensed it down into one. That could be it. One of these. This been painted though. Looks like somebody. It's been painted. Yeah, look at that hood. You can see like somebody wrecked All it. All the dirt and nibs. They fixed yeah. it. The dirt nibs. The little kind of shiny yeah. bodywork on it. What do you think about the car behind it? The Cadillac. Oh my goodness, That's buddy. A big boy. Look. Oh, there's the Evo. So, oh, there's the Evo. Uh, so they haven't seen this Evo yet. Yeah. So this was actually supposed to be on the show this morning at 6.30 filming. Uh, last night he was actually in the parking lot and uh, had some issues with it. I tried to help him bleed the clutch. Essentially the, the clutch fork on the Evos is a pull type. There's like this little clip that is, goes in there and it pulls it, that essentially popped out. So uh, there's an issue with that. I tried to help him figure it out. Uh, he thought it was like the slave cylinder. So uh, he's down in the parking garage for like three hours messing with it. So then it was gone this morning and it's back now. So I wonder if he actually made it like if you got it fixed yeah it was over in the parking garage like on the bottom yeah. level it wasn't here this morning because we walked by it yeah so uh yeah that's uh pretty much it we're gonna go back up in the the hotel and we'll catch up with you guys in the morning at the track all right it is morning time it's like six o'clock the strip is it's almost dead it looks uh looks like nothing's going on there's people probably ripping to work but Nothing's cool has happening. Stand clear of the closing door. Jesus Christ. Charles is late. Oh my goodness. Here, stick your hand in. Stick your leg in there. Charles. Hey, Charles. Buddy, the door almost squished. It, it pinched me out of the way. It gave him a pinch. It's Off to the track we go. Say good morning to old girl. Huh? I have to whoop one of those today. They changed up some stuff on the show. Initially it was supposed to be a McLaren 720S and then they changed it to a Ferrari 488 GTB, which is stock, runs a 10.5 uh, quarter mile and my, the fastest my super has done is a 10.9. Then I think they changed it to a twin turbo Huracan, an alpha or an AMS alpha build. He said it's on five pounds and only makes about eight, maybe 850, but it's all wheel drive. So it's an he's all gonna get you on the dig. He said he's not gonna launch it. He says he's not. He's not gonna, gonna launch it. I want. I want a gentleman's. Bag. But then I'll, I also also the guy who's uh, who's driving it. The first one they said, oh Ferrari. The guy doesn't really know what he's doing. The guy that I'm racing now. I was talking to him yesterday. He's like, oh yeah, I used to do SCCA like five years ago. But no, he, he's like, I I hope I don't forget what I'm doing. So I'm like, 
You don't just you don't you just don't. lose that skill. That's like riding a bike. Like I said, after the first two corners, you're gonna be you're gonna be ripping. So first thing we're doing in the morning is a road course on a cold track, and then later tonight at like eight or something, we're gonna be drag racing on a cold track. This is great. In Vegas. It's a recipe for success. A great success. Great success. So we just did our little meeting in the morning. We just have to go put on suits, and then uh, we have to move our car. What is it? Seven o'clock. I think we're gonna be on track, like doing laps at like eight o'clock. So we, uh, I'm gonna go test fit some suits because I don't think I brought my suit, my race suit. Hey, you didn't. We're gonna go look at the car that we're racing real quick, and uh, this thing's pretty insane. So, this is James. James, how you doing? What's up, man? Good morning. So we talked a little bit yesterday. This is the car that I'm going up against. Yeah, it's just a uh, Purple Monte. Yeah, street car. So we're just gonna first time on the track for like five years. Did you used to do any sort of racing stuff? Like, we do a lot of shift sector stuff. We okay. Used to do a lot of uh, speed district. Yeah. Um, some road course stuff. This car is obviously a Lamborghini Huracan. Super sick but it actually has twin turbos. So what does it have on it, the G35s? Uh, it's G35s right now, yeah. So we have a running out waste gauge of about five to seven pounds. Yeah, so it's gonna make some jam. It's gonna be, it's definitely gonna be a tough car, especially because this thing's all wheel drive, dual clutch, um, insane cars. These things are just, they're good stock and then you add the turbos to them and it's absolutely insane, so. You kinda gotta uh, worry about having too much power on the track though. Yeah, so. You guys got traction control? I don't got, I got my, my foot. I gotta pull it off a little oh, bit. Oh, traction so. control will be off. Okay. Yeah. Cool. It's the only way you gotta let it slide out there. Yeah. Or else it's gonna kick in, you know, mid-turn. Yeah, it'll so. start doing some crazy things. Yeah. But man, It'll do things you don't want it to do, so. This thing's so sick, though. So, I was talking about it last night. Like, I would, I'd love one of these. If I had, like, if I condensed, like, 20 of my cars, I could buy one. Well, that's kind of what happened to me. So, you know, I came across, like, a fantastic deal, mm -hmm. you know, and I sold, so then I was like, I gotta buy this thing. Mm -hmm. So I sold my GTR, had an R35. Yeah. And then, uh, used that to pay, make the down payment. Yeah. Here we are. These things are freaking sick. Yeah, there was that uh, green one last night at the hotel. Oh, was there? So um, that's what I was looking at. I was like, man, that's the color. That's the one I'd have. Yeah, pretty right. Ithaca. Uh, yeah. Could we pop the the trunk? It's not really much to see, to be honest with you. I know. I was looking through the bumper, and it looks phenomenal. Like the kit, like the shielding and everything. It looks like it's like OEM. Like, you know, if Lamborghini was going to put twin G35s on it, you know? Nice. Sick. Yeah, what I like is like everything under there, like all the shielding and it's probably OEM shielding, but it just looks like Lamborghini just gave you extra room for turbos. Well, I mean, you know, you basically, we have to trim it out. You know, mm -hmm. the biggest thing is try to prevent the battle heat. Right? Yeah. So, you know, you see a lot of it. Hercons or catching on fire or whatnot. So heat, heat management is a big deal. Yeah. Well, cool. You want to check out mine? Yeah, absolutely. So it's a little turbo. Yeah, it's not bad. It's so it's uh, GTX 3582. Okay. Um, or 84 RS, so, and then it's got 1500cc injectors, we just did Bosch uh, drive-by-wire, trying to do some traction control, didn't have much luck with the matching the speed sensors and all that stuff, so that's still me, but uh, yeah, it's been together for like five years or so, Okay. and then we just recently put the, uh, we just did cams in it, and then retuned it, and then the drive-by-wire stuff more so for traction control purposes, and um, six-speed, it's a TD09 tranny, all that stuff, so. How much weight are you running? Uh, it was on 30 on the dyno. Right now, it's only 24. Still probably in that 700 range, but not as uh, as crazy. So yeah, we were targeting like turning it up on the duty cycle, and yeah. it just wasn't doing anything. So um, wasn't happy. Yeah, it wasn't. I have an extra boost controller if you need it. Okay. Yeah, it's everything's electronic. It's all on a ECU Master uh, standalone. Everything's set through there. It's a closed loop boost system, so it's actually trying to target it and you know adding more duty cycle to it. So hey, good luck, man. Keep the shiny set yeah. up, right?
So essentially we get, as pairs, we get a 10 minute practice session. So we go out on track for 10 minutes, kind of warm up tires, get a feel for the track. Once we're done with that, everybody does their 10 minute warm up. Then we actually go into the races. So we at least get to watch these guys go around the track for a minute before we go. And then, uh, yeah, we go, go rip it. Our boys, first session. We're gonna see how this thing does. So we just got done with our hot laps and actually it's been a couple minutes. Three people have went already, I'm next. It's time to set a lap time. So uh, I don't know if we won't be able to officially show you guys lap time, but we will be able to show you how I'm doing on the track, if I spin out, if I do donut, if I do some drifts, if I do a good time. You spin out in hot laps. Hot laps, I was, I was goosing her a little bit because I wanted to drift for the, there's a camera over there. So I said, you know what, like if we're gonna do it, let's do it now. Try not to spin out on these runs, but um, we rip it. in a car that's not meant to go around the road course.
that's a bummer. That's not the motor, is it? Hope not. Hope it, hopefully it's we just got off the track and we, <laughs> unfortunately I shut it down. I basically did one of my or one and a half of my like hot hot laps we did a time well, it's some, and it's, it's uh somewhere over here. we did okay yeah, I think but I now i was getting ready to do i was i would say a better one but it would probably been a little bit more sloppy but anyhow it's uh i think we got a rod knock right now yesterday i heard a little i don't know if you guys could hear that in the test drive it was kind of i thought it was the transmission because sometimes those transmissions make some noise but now it's more like a like a, it's loud. Around so, like two to three thousand RPM under it, loads. It's, yeah, it's louder now. So, um, I mean, we could fire it up. We could see. Yeah, let's fire it up real quick and listen. I want to, I want to look in there and see if there's any. If somebody accidentally put beans in my engine. Oh yeah, there's metallic right there on top of the, right on top of it. Yeah, not a good sign. As of right now, we are on marketplace. Everything, uh, Instagram, Facebook, just asking everybody who has an engine stock or built whatever's ready to go and uh, we actually found one that's pretty close here so we're trying to figure out right now it's basically 10 in the morning we have to have this thing back on track at 10 at the, the latest like 9 p.m. like it needs to turn the key at 9 p.m. so we have 11 hours 11 hours which we got this easy so and then uh, Adam one of Adam's mechanics uh, Sean is actually in town because he drove Booth? some stuff Mr. Booth is out here he said he's willing to help so we just need to put this in a garage somewhere and start tearing it apart and uh, figure it out Unfortunate, but uh, makes for good TV, right? Oh, absolutely. I mean, it's not fun, but most things makes that, for great TV. Makes for great TV. Oh, yeah, I, I don't want do this is. the noise of sadness. We're gonna we're gonna trade them. That's loud. It's definitely That's, a lot worse than it was. I was really hoping that it would be like a, something else, but this is not my first 2J. This is my second 2J, so my first one is still alive. But man. Hey, sad. Well, you found another engine, right? Yeah, so. yeah we're, we're just trying to figure out if we're going to go get it and how that's all going to work, but where we're going to swap it, we're figuring it out, though. So. Fingers crossed. Yep. We got this. Get the wrenches out. All right, so I think we decided we're just gonna go ahead and try pulling the engine here and doing everything here since the car's here. This is where it needs to be. We'll figure it out. Charles can run to the store. The store, grab go. some parts, grab some tools, grab some fluid stuff, everything. Things might need a little bit of help. You ready to tap in? Ready. All right. Right here, right now. Let's go. All right. You ready to do it? Let's do it. How long until it can be out? On An the hour. ground. Hour? Two hours. <laughs> well, the thing is, it's like, it's like really, it's like nice. It's like weird. It's like a weird thing. Take your time. Like if it was like my 240, you'd be like, yeah. Send it. shit everywhere. Yeah. You gotta be All a little right. careful. Alright, you ready? Yeah. Let's, let's get to it. Let's pull it. Making some good progress on this thing. Intake manifold is off. Wiring harness is pretty much disconnected. We have radiator, intercooler, all that stuff, downpipe. Now, the biggest thing is waiting on the other engine. But as we can, we're gonna try to get as many pieces off of this thing as we can to transfer over to the new one uh, once it gets here. It's coming. It actually hasn't been that long. 30 minutes. I think it's been 30 minutes since you guys cracked into it. Not doing too bad though. Thank you time. Just once the other engine is here, this is gonna be a big, big thing, just swapping everything. Yep. Give a huge shout out to Marco. He uh, 
Came through literally, I texted him within five minutes of this happening, and within 10 minutes, he was like, we have one. He was like, let me know, I could bring it. Huge shout out to him, really appreciate it. That's uh, it's crazy. It wasn't his engine, it was somebody else that he knew since he recently moved out here. And uh, so he went over to his house, picked it up, grabbed the cherry picker. We would have been completely screwed, like, if it wasn't for that scenario playing out exactly how it did, so. Uh, yeah, and he even stayed, helped us pull it out, helped us swap some parts, pull and clean in the oil pan, all the crazy stuff. And uh, again, you can see Sean, he's just going hard right now. We're, we're at that point where if we didn't have help, that this wouldn't happen. Like one person cannot do this in this amount of time. We'll get a rip. Okay, so I appreciate it, man. I'll be back. We'll yeah, we'll see you at the drags tonight. Yeah. I'm gonna run a pass. Gonna I'm gonna watch me. Yeah, we're gonna do that. <laughs>show format aside i think it's it's amazing that you're actually doing it like it's it's super cool and despite the fact that i'm supposed to be supporting the like exotic supercar side right now i really want you to get this on back on the track and i really want you to win because from a story point of view yeah. it's sick yeah. i will say too i spoke with katie earlier and she thinks you're going to be the slowest right. yeah so gotta prove it wrong nothing like a good buddy huh <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean she's like yeah you're gonna be slow yeah, I, I think that's messed up. I believe in Trevi. I think that he could probably be one of the fastest. Mm -hmm. He's at a little disadvantage because of his tire. Mo's got some crazy setup on his car. But. You gotta manage your team. You gotta, that's team on team, okay? You guys need to have a talk with them. Katie. So Part what's the, the chance? There are different the episodes. Let's think about this. We're supposed to be at the strip running in an hour. But to be fair, you could run last. Yeah. So mm -hmm. if we get, say, four more hours, do you think? Oh, yeah. That's oh, good. Done. Oh, yeah. Wow, that's cool. Wow. That is Decent. I'd I mean, like to say two, but yeah. Let's It'll be in in the yeah. engine bay within the next hour for sure. If this was a race car, you yeah. could probably have the engine in and out in under like an hour and a half. Sick. That's if you like, cool. if we had one that was ready to go, just put back in. It would already been in and like close to fire. Right. Now. right. Like, okay. This is literally yeah. a stock engine that probably hasn't been in a car for like 30 years. So I guess you don't know if it's good until you actually drop it in and start it. Right? Good. It's good. It's gonna be 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 good. It's gon
Why doesn't it idle? McDonald's, it's Corona time. <laughs> Just like that, the Supra is back alive. So we drove around the parking lot, everything felt really good. I couldn't have done it without those guys. Uh, it was crazy, literally we had like five or six people, just everybody had a tool in their hand, everybody doing something. And if it was only me, and I feel like if it was me and Sean, we would've still got it done. Yeah, it would've took us another hour or so. Yeah, but. I think another hour, yeah. but the fact that everybody from Monster just stayed over here and thrashed with us, freaking awesome so we got a mess right there <laughs> my, we'll <laughs> my uh, limited amount of tools like obviously I, I didn't plan on swapping the freaking engine when we came here but we made it happen people had tools we bought tools we borrowed tools bought an engine wasn't expecting that so crazy. now the only thing left to do is to go race this twin turbo Lamborghini Huracan at the race so, I mean I think we already won because we got it running again right <laughs> if that for some reason works then that's just a miracle <laughs> that's gonna be freaking it so icing on top hell yeah man thank you man i, I couldn't have freaking done it without so you so you got it done yeah thank you for just hopping in yeah. like he as soon as i was like hey you tapping in he's like done like let's go it was a part so yeah, it worked out great <laughs> Thank you, and you guys, man. so much. <laughs> Hell yeah. You know, I'm glad it's out there. Now go beat up on them first. Yeah. <laughs> okay? Take this Lambo out. Take this Lambo out. Make lamb chop out of them. She's good. Buddy, we're doing She's it. She's good. We, we're not doing it, we did it. Holy crap. We freaking did it. Jesus. Woo. What a weird day. Wow. <laughs> what a weird day. We're here though, look at this. Well actually, we're not here yet. We're, we're over the speed bump. We going drag racing? Oh, we're going drag racing. We are, we are going drag racing. We freaking made it. I know, a lot of hard work we'd make it. Right. We're freaking here. Wow. Well, let's see how this goes. Yeah. Yo. Are we too late? No. You guys showed up at perfect time. Just perfect. in time. Literally. Can you be better, please? Yo! Yeah. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Fucking <yeah>. made it. <laughs> Sounds good, too. Oh, it's, it's, it's perfect. <laughs> it's perfect. No, it's hitting it's just, saucy. just fine, yeah. No, we went out and hit 24 pounds. Like, everything's dialed. Like, everything's wild. <laughs> Like, no oil leaks, no fuel leaks, nothing. Like, literally turn the key, fire it up, like, set it down, and we're good. Awesome. Let's go! Woo! How'd it feel? Congrats, dude. That's <laughs> crazy. Yes. 
Market. So this is another car that was down and out trying to help him in the parking garage. Took it to an Evo shop, got it all fixed. Now he's out here ripping. So we got the two, two cars that broke, got completely fixed. Now we're out here ripping together. Kind of power is it making it run good all the same maybe, yeah probably not probably not the same maybe like 50 down because it's got different cams now different cams but like uh probably a little bit rich up top i turned on the fueling correction like 10 percent let it let it do the thing but it 24 pounds of boost which is what it was making on the road course earlier today i haven't been able to get it to make more but hell yeah good work dude all right so we are next we're racing the lamborghini Whew. looks like we made it So we're here, let this thing warm up and we're gonna do some two test passes, three ripping passes, best two out of three. Can't tell you guys the results, whether I win or uh, or lose, like the official ones, we could probably show you a run or so, but uh, it's gonna be good, I'm excited. <laughs> So that wraps up everything that we're supposed to do for the Banging Gears TV show here in Vegas. We raced the twin turbo Huracan versus the single turbo Super after we just swapped an engine. We cannot reveal the results of it, but uh, you guys will have to stay tuned for the show of that. But the fact that we got this thing running and driving was absolutely insane. We got Throttle over here in their Supra getting ready to go against another Lambo. There's actually been quite a bit of Supras. I think mine did really good and uh, you guys are just gonna have to wait to the show, which is gonna come out in probably July, September. June, no, March, April, June, no, no, no. They were saying July, early summer. August, July, August. Cause I'm episode 10. So it's gonna be episode 10, might be August or September. So it's gonna be a while, but uh, we have some upgrades that we wanna do to the Supra, probably around that same time. Uh, and now we have an extra engine to build. So uh, we're gonna watch these boys race these cars and then we gotta load up, pack up. We gotta get back to Colorado. If you guys have not get entered for a chance to win, the EK hatch, link in the description. See you later.